Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. And I really can't get no sleep. This is real true street crime. And let me just tell you this. I was sitting here on the beach this morning thinking about one of the first times I went to New York and Brother Brown was there and I needed some weed. He took me down on 111th in Harlem, right across from Central Park. It was the hottest weed spot in New York at the time. They used to serve you when you go up to the apartment, it was like an abandoned project almost. And when you go up there, they used to stick the lock out to you, push the whole lock out, you put the money inside the lock, and then tell them what you want, and they'll pull the money in and then stick the lock back out and give you what you wanted. That chocolate tie was popular at the time, Buddha Sess was popular at the time, and I always loved hash. They always had some good ass hash. So they had that chocolate tie, that Buddha Sess, and that bomb ass hash, and it was 24 hours a day. Whenever you get in town, just go up to 111th in Harlem, you couldn't miss it. The block would be lined up with Hondas, Honda Accord. The whole block would have a whole block full of Honda Accord. This how the Rosters was running it at the time. See, the Rosters was running the weed on 111th in Harlem at the time, you understand? So at that particular time, as I say to you, the Rosters was running the 111th they had the whole block look like an abandoned apartment structure. I mean, look like the whole project. And you go up to the one particular apartment, 111th, get your motherfucking do it. I mean, I ain't never went there until they tore that shit down after Giuliani got in power. They fucked up 111th. But it was a powerhouse pushing that lock out putting that money in there. Some of my fondest days sitting here thinking about New York. You understand, running with Juice Brown, we get up and get fucked up right quick. That was my man, now, I'ma tell you. Brother Southfield over there, Columbia, couldn't stop going to fuck with him while he in class, trying to learn something, you understand? Me and Juice Brown out there, two knuckleheads, fucking with himself off. But as I said, I can't get no sleep. This is real true street crime. Giving it to you real on an early morning when I can't get no sleep. I don't know about y'all, but I can't sleep a week. So I figured I'd come out here to the beach and get some air, because it always feel like a motherfucker suffocating in the house now. So, and as I had to always say to y'all, just talking and reminisce about the NY New York, one of my favorite places in the world. You understand and had so much fun up there. Just reminiscing back on when Russell Simmons opened up Fat Farm in the village. I had to go to that and get me a Russell Simmons shirt, not a shirt, a sweater. Cause it was like winter time fat farm the first one that ever opened i had to go to it it was in the village and get me a run i still got that sweater one day i wear it for y'all but i was a huge fan of ny and i love spike lee i used to always go over to brooklyn to go to his little shop and buy spike lee a tire 40 acres and a mule loved it spent a fortune over there in brooklyn at 40 acres and a mule and hated to see when it closed, you understand? Big Spike Lee fan, and as I always say, this is real true street crime. I can't sleep, so I figured I'd come out to the beach for a minute this morning and give you another little bird's eye view of it. Here it is on this wonderful morning. So I figured I'd give you a sight. Maybe if you don't like it, I 
I won't give it to you anymore, but generally, if you do, I'll come out and give you a little view. Ain't gonna be no real sunrise this morning because all the clouds in the way. So you ain't gonna get a sunrise. This is real true street crime. Eddie Jackson Jr. saying, I can't sleep. So I just came to the beach to do something and catch some air and blow me a J. So stay tuned. A story is coming right at you immediately following this. This is real true street crime. I can't sleep. Like, subscribe, and share. Here's just the bird's eye of the beach, and I can't sleep. This is real true street crime. Why lie when the real true street crime will do? Like, subscribe, and share. And definitely go over there and check out Jelani's Tasting Table. You understand, a wonderful young chef out of Baker's College. Check out that 420 cooking and get you some of that 420, them wings and them fish tacos. And definitely check out that sauce that go with it, you understand. 420 cooking's finest. Jelani's Tasting Table. Over there, check him out. Just giving you a little eye on the beach this morning, how it look. This is real true street crime. Subscribe, share, and definitely like. I'm out, and before I go, I have to always tell you all, go over there to Spotify and check us out on Spotify. Crime Town, Kingpin's Kids. Ron Gear Valley, Eddie Jackson, Prime Town, Spotify. And I'm going to be seeing a lot of you all. Peace, love, and share, and like. Thumbs up. I'm out.